Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be trying a product that intrigued me when I saw it online. It is the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm X Eye Temporary Eye Tightener. I did get Botox early in 2023. It did really work for preventing movement here around the crow's feet and the forehead lines, but I haven't gotten it since. So I am very curious. I have full range of movement. I definitely have the crow's feet starting, the under eye creases. So I'm very curious to know if this works. If a product like this does work, there really isn't a need for Botox because you can just kind of smooth everything out and kind of freeze it in place for an event or for a special occasion. So if you are also curious to hear about this, see the process, see the results, then just keep watching. Okay, it says clinical skincare instantly tightens, firms, and smooths the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and deep wrinkles around the eye area, diminishes the look of under eye puffiness. I wouldn't say I have puffiness. I more have just like the blue veins showing through, and I definitely have the lines here and here. And when I'm like really smiling, like really smiling, I get them all the way down here. So we will try this one out. The trio of instant skin tighteners to help lift, firm, and tighten the appearance of skin. A trio of peptides work together to help visibly diminish the look of under eye puffiness, targets bags under the eyes, and helps to visibly diminish the look of excess fluid. Helps immediately smooth and tighten the skin. Let's see. On the side, shows you a bunch of before and after pictures. These people all look like they're probably in their late 50s or 60s at least. I am, well, when you see this, probably... 40. <laughs> I'm filming this late August. My birthday's in September, so I'll probably be 40 when you see this. It's so weird. Um, so it gives you the whole instructions inside. Make sure your skin is clean. Shake the tube. Apply a pea-sized amount on the back of your hand with a clean brush. Pick up a tiny bit. Apply and spread in upward strokes in a thin layer under the eyes for puffiness. Over crow's feet, the 11s, okay, which I don't really have yet. Um, beneath and above the brow, but not on your movable lid. So like right here, if you want to freeze this area or right here, but not on the actual lid. Let the product dry for about five minutes while remaining expressionless. Do not squint or smile. So no movement whatsoever for five minutes. And then it says if you apply too much, you might get a white cast, but you can wipe it off. Now that the product is completely dry, you're good to go. You can apply powder or gently pat on foundation. So I am very curious, so let's open her up. It's a tiny little tube, actually. You get one fluid ounce in here. It just doesn't look like much. Okay, so it said, shake the tube. Okay, so when I smile, ready? Peace eyes them out. Clean brush, pick up a tiny amount, apply in upward strokes. And I think I will just do one eye at a time so you can see the difference, but I'm trying not to make any expressions while I am doing this. And let's try the 11s just for kicks. definitely seems smoothing like it's a pore filling type of thing it does seem like it has some instant smoothing properties to it like I have probably I don't know eight or nine small lines under my eyes and now I only have like two or three so I've applied it to this eye and I can't do any motions for the next five minutes so I'm just going to hop off do absolutely nothing for five minutes and we'll be back to see what happens. Okay, I am back. It's been five minutes, and so now I can move my face <laughs> and apply product on top. So let's see the moment of truth. This side has the product under the eyes, crow's feet, under the brow. I also did the 11s and the smile line on this side just to see what happens. So let me zoom in and we'll see what this actually did. Okay, ready? Um, okay, 
So it froze this side, but now I'm getting a weird crease right here. That looks so strange. Can you guys see it? Like it froze it right here, <laughs> but it's got like a weird divot right here. I don't know. I can still make the 11s and I can still make the crow's feet. So I'm not really sure. And I can see the white residue they're talking about. There's some white stuff here, some white stuff here. So when you actually smile, did it do anything? It just kind of moved the wrinkles into different places. So instead of them all being here, they're now like here and here. Very strange. I feel like I actually have more wrinkles now. So I'm going to say that this one was not a success. And you can probably save your money on this product. I don't get it. Um, Botox, yes, it's optional. You don't need it. You don't need products like this. You're beautiful as you are. But if it makes you feel more comfortable in your own skin, totally up to you. No judgment here. Like I said, I tried the Botox. I try things like this. I try skincare products. So I'm open, but I'm definitely not going to go off the deep end and do everything under the sun. So I would probably just go back and get another Botox injection here if I didn't want crow's feet or along the forehead if I didn't want forehead wrinkles. For now, I'm in no hurry to do that again. So we tried it. I don't really think it was a success. You can kind of still see pretty much similar from side to side. So the side with the product and the side without the product very similar. So I'm going to say this is a pass, a fail for me. So save your money, invest in some good eye creams instead. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video testing out this Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm Eye Tightener product. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.